Welcome to the Tradermo Show here with Sebastian, Matthias and our special guest today from Exante, Rudolf. Yeah. Hi, a warm welcome, Rudolf. Um, yeah, nice to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Great. Yeah, Rudolf, um, you are a cryptocurrency enthusiast within Exante and a financial analyst at the same time. And yeah, we just wanted to know what how you see the cryptocurrency market at the moment well actually although everyone's screaming and crying regarding a big crash lately regarding china i think it's a quite healthy correction to be exact and uh, we at exante look quite forward to all the blockchain technology that is going through right now so what is happening although many think it's bad it's for the good it's only for the good mm -hmm. okay um let's let's take a look at the at the at the chart so um, i'm opening the bitcoin chart here where we yesterday on our exante account entered a short position um well a hundred a hundred bitcoin short here um of course um maybe most people wouldn't take this risk at this current point um do you do you see a bottom here Rudolf, at, uh, now we, we've breached the $3,600, which Matthias yesterday mentioned as a support level. Um, yeah, what's, what's your medium-term outlook? Well, medium-term, we might have a correction during the weekend because Fridays are usually turnaround days with, with Bitcoin, although it might not be so obvious with all what's happening. But I think in the nearest future, we're going to see even lower key support lines like 3,400 again, 3,000 mm -hmm. at all, and maybe even lower. Because uh, after all, after the wave of $5,000, the last wave, which is the fifth, it, it ended. So mm -hmm. the bear trend should have started. So I think, right, that's why I said that it's a healthy correction. Okay, okay. Matthias, do you, yeah. I would like to hand over to you for the next question to Rudolf. Yes. Uh, do you think it could be a nice opportunity to scaling in with smaller positions to, to buy some smaller positions in the Bitcoins? I don't think it, this is the right time actually to begin buying small positions. I think the better time would be when there is more panic in the market. Bitcoin, as you know, it is quite a sentimental element mm -hmm. and uh, thus they usually, when we see a lot of market frustration, the trend is usually exactly the opposite. When a lot of people are waiting to go short, it's, it's going long and the opposite is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Many financial analysts called 3,800 at bottom, 4,000 at bottom, and uh, we saw 3,400 today. So I think near the 3,000 line, 3,100, this is the perfect time to actually start scaling then. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, sounds absolutely good. Uh, yeah, makes sense to me. Um, then I, I saw a lot of good stuff and good news and uh, reputation about your crypto fund on Bloomberg and so on. So maybe you can tell us something about this and maybe you you made some decisions regarding the, the recent um, development in the cryptocurrencies. Well, the thing is that we are already known for quite a long time that we had our Bitcoin fund, which was one of the first ones to legally buy and acquire Bitcoin via actually MLT's regulated broker. We gave the opportunity to people instead of sending money to an unknown unknown actually broker company without the regulation to send them to us and trade, which was backed by physical Bitcoin, which was the innovation. And it made over 1000% last year on its growth. And this year we came up with something different because a lot of potentially upcoming altcoins and alternative coins popped up. We thought that we should use it to our advantage and create a XI fund, which would mm -hmm. be a basket product for the people to buy at the same time. Because, for instance, I devote all my time to studying, looking at charts, charting and doing my analysis, but many people don't have the time to do it. And we do it for them by creating this fund with six alternative coins in it. It rebalances mm -hmm. itself. It shows good returns when the market is going up. It show, it's falling slightly less than the whole market average when the market is going down. So we're trying to control the risk more and make a speculative product into an investment product. Okay, I have the chart open here of the XAI. Yeah, that's the altcoin index created by Exante. And yes, um, I'm, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop for one sec. 
the thing is you might notice that it's falling today but if you compare percentages to bitcoin which fell for for yeah. almost 18 percent the xi fund only fell for 14. Mm -hmm. this is what the rebalancing does mm -hmm. so you have less loss than even the major bitcoin currency this is a quite important thing especially when mar markets crash in in cryptos right now mm -hmm. Yeah, um, can you maybe tell us more about the rebalancing and how exactly it's done on the XAI fund? Well, the thing is, our rebalancing method is that each week we look at the potential and upcoming uh, coin fluctuations that are going to happen during the next week. We take them into analysis, we take them into account, and after that exactly, we put some coins in a higher potential and higher perspective, some coins into a lower perspective. For instance, we saw if we saw Ripple falling sharply last week, and we are seeing a soon turnaround event, then we mm -hmm. would actually acquire some bit of more of Ripple inside the fund, and we would throw out Monero, which would be going high up during the previous week and having some kind of issues potentially in terms of technical supports and uh, resistances upcoming. So we sell one coin buy another coin inside mm -hmm. the fund thus this is why we see 14 instead of 18 percent today even okay i understood and um basically um what's what's been the the historical performance of the fund and what's your what's your outlook on the diversified fund um in the medium term so if you see a bitcoin correction um how high do you see that correction and how do you expect your your fund to to act during that time well First of all, uh, regarding the performance of the fund, we opened the fund for the public no, not that long ago. Let me mm -hmm. tell you the date. It was 5th of September. Uh, mm -hmm. So it didn't show any performance and it shouldn't because it's correlating together with altcoins. Mm -hmm. But while we were creating it and our money was, we, are actually, we were actually acquiring altcoins, it went from uh, around 110 to 7, which is 700%. Okay. So... We saw a rapid growth in altcoin markets, will, which will surely go again when Bitcoin will f reach its bottom point. So the XI fund will prosper even more than mm -hmm. it should. And that would be the perfect place to start buying. And regarding Bitcoin, I see right now key, key points at 300, 3,400 3, and around 3,000. But in the long run, during the next week or so, we even more, we might see it lower than $3,000 if it continues going that way. We'll see a correction, but it might be a bull trap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and um, just one second. Yeah. Okay. And um, on the... On the X, XAI fund, do you have an expectation to... Um, to take in more more currencies or like what is the perfect amount of um, crypto assets to have in this fund why did you choose exactly the ones that you have chosen so far well we thought about it for quite a long time we are stand at around six right now we intend to actually add one more that will mm -hmm. be a surprise which one we can't actually it's a non-disclosed mm -hmm. and uh, we'll look at the perspective as previous experience shows that uh, many funds you cannot follow a lot of elements at the same time and you have to think about what's happening so when you have limited actually potential in sorry when you have a certain amount of coins that are growing or falling then you cannot follow everything meaning that when we have six, we can follow everything that's happening. We're mm -hmm. going to add maybe seven, and may maybe we will add one more if we see potential. There is a lot of problems still in the blockchain industry regarding actually building coins. So maybe it's, not, it's better not to even hurry to add more and more. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I have a question here. Um, is it possible to, to hold some cash as an opportunity when the market goes down? Or is it always invested 100%? No, this is the best part about Exante. You do not have to be, the cash that you hold does not have to be invested. You can have free cash just lying around there and you can wait for a perfect moment and enter when you're comfortable at. We do not have any hidden fees. We do not have any commissions for just holding capital. You, <coughs> you can have 
money lying around and when you see and when you know it and when a signal comes up you just buy it mm -hmm. yeah but but what i mean was um the fund manager does he has to put opportunity to to hold some cash or is he invested all the time for 100 percent in in cryptocurrencies oh the fund manager the yes. fund manager actually yes he does because the fund has to perform better but this is what we are here we look at the coins that should perform better than the rest ones and we choose them and prioritize mm. them okay cool thanks i'm just uh taking a look here at the at the website now so um exante.eu slash p slash 5082 is uh, the page where you can find all the information about the the bitcoin fund and the the, the performances and the xai fund that's at xai.fund there we you can see the f um the diversified fund with um all of the different assets inside of it that is rebalanced automatically by the team of rudolf and the other people at exante um yeah i find it a really interesting product and um i when i when i first stumbled across exante um i met one of your colleagues um at a conference and um what fascinated me was also the ability in general to invest in funds and hedge funds and so on like um can you also sh just shortly talk about this and how this works so when i click on funds here inside of the platform i have like a huge range of different funds and hedge funds and i can and just many, invest yes, easily yes. there and man, and many of those co those funds actually are, are our clients they mm -hmm. trade with us and for instance there are a lot of money managers that have the potential to work together with us they have mm -hmm. an account with us they like how how it's being traded with us the commissions are quite important for them as well so we take it into account all the technical setup mm -hmm. and we propose to create a fund for them we give them an opportunity we'll, we tell them what are the costs and we look at their performance and then we sometimes even look for extra capital to put in our clients funds as well okay Thus, so you also uh, invest into these into these funds basically so i'm, I'm just gonna pick a random example now I, I don't know if the performance of this one is good or not um I'm taking the verse uh, from Lion Investment Cell here, um, and well, here I don't see a price at the moment for this one, um, so maybe it's not very frequently traded. So how does it work if I invest into one of these, and then um, like, what's the liquidity on on these funds? The liquidity is rather good actually, because it all you invest in capital, and but what how we do it is mm. once per month you can either withdraw capital either put in capital we okay. pu put a high watermark at a certain point and at that certain point you just invest or take out the capital mm. that you have okay understood so basically the price that i see is always the latest reflection of the yes yes you have to check watermark. the data actually you mm. have to check the data actually and see no. what was the when was the last update mm -hmm. okay understood yeah, very interesting. Uh, maybe we can talk more about that in another show. Yeah. No problem. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, Rudolf. I mean, this was really great. And um, I'm sure we'll have more questions from users as we go along here with the show. And um, yeah, it would be great to have you back sometime. I would be happy to. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Rudolf. Thank you, Rudolf. Have a good one. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.